Godzilla is a cinematic icon. Over the course of 60 years, the King of Monsters spawned over 29 movies, countless animated shows, and two American adaptations based off the Japanese franchise. The original Gojira was a smash hit among Japanese and American audiences and is well known for its immersive human drama, action sequences, and its political undertones about the dangers of the atomic bomb. Godzilla returned in 2016's Shin Godzilla, a reimagining of the original 1954 classic. At first glance, the Godzilla franchise may appear as an out-of-the-mill monster brawl franchise. However, it's much deeper than that. Although Godzilla was created through the H-bomb, he is a living embodiment of toxic masculinity. Whenever he uses his atomic ray, countless women inevitably suffer, resulting in their impending doom. Among Godzilla's foes are Mothra and Biolante, the only female monsters in the franchise. Whenever Godzilla fires his ray against them, his patriarchal nature allows him to dominate them in battle. Various names of the monsters within the Godzilla franchise reinforce toxic masculinity by invoking male royalty. Godzilla is called the King of the Monsters. Ghidorah is the King Ghidorah, and Caesar is King Caesar. <laughs> 1956's Rodin featured two pterodactyls, one male, one female. The female pterodactyl was killed near the volcano solely because she was female, and the male pterodactyl survived, and was portrayed in 1964's Ghidorah, featuring the three-headed monster. This toxicity not only affects the countless women Godzilla has killed, but also the main female characters. One such character is Princess Salno of Selgina. Upon praying for the safety of the Earth, she was targeted by a male assassin. A male character in 1972's Godzilla vs. Gigan referred to a female character as a hard bitch. And in 1975's Terror of Mechagodzilla, a woman by the name of Katsura is shown with her bare breasts on an operating table while her male surgeons engage in male dominance. And in the original Gojira, whenever fishing was poor, the natives used to sacrifice girls to prevent Godzilla from attacking the village. There's also an element of racism within the franchise. 2014's Godzilla Final Wars featured a cis white male by the name of Captain Gordon. He demonstrates his white supremacy by leading an entire ship of Asian servants. 1965's Invasion of the Astro Monster features Nick Adam falling in love with an Asian woman. When his love interest dies at the hands of aliens, he referred to Japanese people as rats. You stinking rat! You stinking rat! <laughs> 1998's Godzilla fixed all of these sexist tropes by changing Godzilla's gender while also retaining the essence of the franchise.